Blessings, a community of spouses. Listen, Coach T with you this morning as I share a brief, brief word with you. Uh, today, I want to talk about it's only temporarily. It's only temporarily. Listen, when you're going through things, though, it doesn't feel like it's temporary. It feels like it's ongoing, long lasting. Jesus, help me come through. <laughs> but it's only temporarily. It's only temporarily. Uh, temporarily means lasting for a limit of time, not permanent, not permanent. The things that you're going through in your marital covenant is not permanent. It's not permanent. It is part of the process, but it is not permanent. And so I want to focus your attention to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 15 to 18. Um, this is a new living transition verse. Look, well, it's early, so excuse me if you see stuff. <laughs> All right, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, 15 to 18 says, all of this is for your benefit. All of this is for your benefit. And as God's grace reaches more and more people, there will be great thanksgiving and God will receive more and more glory. That is why we never give up. Though our bodies are dying, our spirits are being renewed every day. For our present troubles are small and won't last very long. Yet, they produce for us glory that basically outweighs them and will last forever. So we don't look at the troubles we can see now, whether we fix or, or we fix our gaze on things that cannot be seen. For the things we see now will soon be gone, but the things we cannot see will last forever. Listen, when you hear something like that, you like, oh man, okay, I can do this. I can handle it. But when you're walking through that thing, it don't seem that way. It doesn't seem that way. All right. Romans 8 and 18, the King James Version say, for I reckon that the sufferings of the of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which will which shall be revealed in us. For I reckon, for I reckon, listen, since it's only temporarily, since it's only temporarily, allow development to take its place so that you will be full and lacking nothing. Allow development to take its place. And listen. When we think about words like development, trials, going through, nobody wants to hear those words. Nobody wants to uh, think about things like that. But it is part of the process. Profit from your trials. James 1, and, um, 1 verses 2 to 4, King James verse says, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete lacking nothing let not lacking nothing be perfect and complete if you do not allow the things and the troubles that you're going through in your present marital covenant whether good bad or indifferent whatever it is at this present time um allow those things to do what it needs to do to get you to your next allow whatever uh transformation that has to take place uh to get you to your next part to get you to your next part a lot of times, we as people, we don't like the word suffer. We don't want to suffer. When things are good, when things are well, listen, eat that up. Enjoy that because those moments can change. Those moments can change. But God is constantly, constantly, especially in the marital covenant. The marital covenant is part of your development. The marital covenant helps you to get to a place that God wants you to get. God is constantly um, concerned about our growth, our maturity, where are we going next? Can he trust us? Can he rely on us? Can he depend on us? Can he um, say like he like he told the devil about about Job? You know, have you have you seen my 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 servant Job? You know, he wants to know. Hey, hey, have you seen my servant uh, Tanika? Have you seen have you seen how faithful she is? Has, have you seen? He wants to be able to recommend you, recommend you, so he know that. I know if I put them on trial, I know if I put them in the hot seat, listen, they're going to pass. They're going to pass with fine colors. And so that's what it's about. It's about getting through whatever we need to get through. It's only temporarily. It's only temporarily. So because marriage is an institution of transformation, marriage helps produce the best us. It helps produce the best us. Marriage reveals the true us. So if we are in a place or in a position where, look, you think that you got it all together and you think that you, I'm humble, I'm humble and, you know, I'm mature, get married. <laughs> so, 
mess around and get married, you will find out quickly how you are. Marriage shapes you, okay? Your maturity in your marriage is connected to your spouse's imperfection, your maturity in your marriage. And I know sometimes it seems like our whole world is crumbling down when we are dealing with a spouse that got all kinds of stuff going on. When we're dealing with a spouse that, you know, just, just taking us through the mud. But God is using that person to mature you, to... Um, to to develop you in ways that you could only be developed um um through through the marital covenant is just some things that um the marital covenant teaches you it just it just teaches you your um uh, spouse in a sense is your in-house accountability is your in-house accountability don't give up on your marital covenant. Don't give up on the hard stuff right now. Don't give up on, man, I didn't sign up for this. Man, this is not how it's supposed to be. Man, I don't want to go this route. Don't give up on the marital covenant because things are not going the way you would want it to go right now. Benefit from the hard stuff. Benefit from what you're going through. Learn. Ask God questions. What am I supposed to be learning in this situation? What am I supposed to be um, developing in this situation? Trust. Oh my God. It's such a big issue um, uh, when, when, when we're going through hard things. This is a time where God is really like putting um, your trust on a fire. Like, will you, are you going to believe me? Are you going to believe me? Are you going to believe what you see? Are you going to, you know, um, are you going to believe me more than what you see right now? Are you going to believe me more than what you see right now? What we're going through is only temporarily. It's only temporarily. God is trying to develop something so much greater because not only are we going to, um, be what we need to be in our in our marital covenants but god is preparing us for whatever else that he has set up for us he's preparing us for not just your marital covenant but he's also doing a work in you that's going to take you other places that's going to help you um um develop and and, and be better in, in other areas of your life so uh, allow the trials allow the hard times allow um the the suffering to be, to to develop you and help you be what you need to be so God can use you for his glory at a later time in a later season in your life. Listen, I didn't want to keep you long. I just hope that message has been a blessing to you. Blessings.